All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we made some money. We were up $17,281. Today we chipped away on SCHD and made $283. So that was a nice trade. We'll review that as well. But year to date, doing well, $17,000. Then looking at McDonald's, we're still holding this trade. We have 133 shares at 40, and we are up $46.55 right now. And the after hours are pretty much break even though looking at McDonald's because you can see McDonald's went as high as 252.9. And then now in the after hours, it is starting to build a base around 251. And our cost basis is 251.7. So we're just going to hold this position overnight, see where it goes. When you look at it year to date, McDonald's has sold off. But... You got, you got the dividend coming June 3rd, the ex-dividend date. That's why I bought shares. It looks like we have green coming in right now. So we're going to hold this position and see how it plays out. I just want to show you SCHD. We decided to buy shares on this dip here at 76. Let me just, oh, sorry, hold on. This is three months out. Let me, let me, yeah, we can't do that. Let me, let me show the, the today. So we bought shares today around this dip here right in this area and we're going to zoom in on this so you can see it so right over here you can see 8 a.m we bought shares around like 76.5 and then sold up here to make the 300 dollars. so that was a nice gain let me show you what else i'm watching i'm going to use the weevil chart because it's just easier to follow all right so as you can see i'm continuing to hold this position this is mcdonald's i'm showing on weevil it's just a lot smoother to show but if you do follow this trend line carefully, you can see that it has broken. So we have to see if McDonald's can reclaim this 250 level. Right now it's battling. I mean, from 252 to 249, limited selling pressure, which you can see right here with this thin wick. But we just have to give it time to let it play out. It looks like 249 has formed a base, but I bet you that McDonald's is going to retest this. It's gonna retest that 250 level and it's got to break out of this trend. It's got to break above right here around 254 to start making its leg back up. And that's what we're counting on. We got that swing position in. We're in at 251.7. It looks like it's 251.9 around right now. So we're going to continue to hold this position and see if we can get a nice bounce from here. We got the 133 shares. Year to date, it's been very ugly for McDonald's. They've sold off. I mean, look at 300 all the way down to 250. They're down 16%. That's why I bought. And we got that June 3rd earnings. What I'm, This is what I think is going to happen. I want to see this V-shaped recovery from 250 back up to retest 275. That would be a beautiful move on 133 shares. I'll be making some good change on that with a 251.7 cost basis. That's what I'm looking at. What I want you to watch out for, though, is looking at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is finally starting to get some red here. Went from 158, 1158 down to 1100. And that was some big selling right there. Some big selling off. Now, it's not a huge percentage because when the numbers are this big, they're going to get their split in the summer. But selling off that much, 6% all in one day, pretty, pretty big sell off there. But we'll have to see. They're still bullish, obviously. And there's nothing bearish about nvidia but you definitely have to keep an eye on them now that they're reverse splitting now that there's you know they're they're doing a share offer they're going to definitely get some volatility here especially before they do their i think it's 10 to 1 split i believe it is so i'm hoping we get a pullback back to a thousand but i highly doubt it until after the split um lastly qqq just quick review it looks like uh QQQ is just bullish riding it up and now we're going to see if it can hold this level at 445. If it can hold 445, I think it's going to continue to go higher. If it breaks that 445, we're going to head back down to 400, which would be really nice. 